Hey, it's Luke, the founder of Friday. And in this video, I wanna show you some new things that we launched and briefly talk about how posts work and how it can help you scale kind of company-wide or top-down communication at work. So to give you kind of a, a high-level overview of posts, um, posts is kind of like an internal blog for your company that is connected and integrated with Slack and email in particular for distribution. Um, if you think about kind of the problems with scaling uh, organizations, communication is probably the number one uh, thing that you really need to think about. It's like, how do we make sure that everybody's on the same page? How do we make sure that, you know, as many people as possible are reading important news and announcements, uh, you know, a weekly note from the CEO, things of that nature. Um, and so that's why posts exist. Once again, it's like an internal blog for your company that you can create categories for, um, and that handles distribution in Slack and email in particular. And so let me walk you through some of the updates that we've made. Um, and I'm just gonna give you an example. So let's say, uh, you know, I'm a leader and I have an important announcement to make. You know, I could potentially, uh, you know, hold an all hands meeting. And, you know, there's value in an all hands meeting on a routine basis, like once a month or maybe a couple times a month. Um, but what happens when you have important communication that needs to get out to kind of nudge, encourage, and make people aware of things going on at the company. What do you do? Well, option A is you could send a company-wide email, but there's no real guarantee that people have read it, right? It's kind of like you're shouting into the void. Um, additionally, it can oftentimes uh, land in a very noisy channel, right? Uh, that email that you send um, is prioritized with spam or any other email that someone gets on an everyday basis, right? And the same is basically true in Slack. You could use Slack, create an announcements channel and, you know, tag everyone, you know, at channel or at everybody um, to try to like deliver that notification. Um, but once again, it is being delivered in a very noisy place and you still don't know if people read it. And so that's why posts, that's precisely where posts can help. So I'm just going to give an example, you know, and this is sample content, right? You can give it a heading. Um, you can provide a summary. And uh, you can tap into our rich text editor to add, you know, GIFs. You could record a Loom video. You know, you could uh, tap into a variety of things. You know, I could add a header. Um, I could add list items. I could include GIFs really easily, right? Um, like I said, you can even add an unsplash image if you want, right? So you could add a fun uh, image that, you know, everybody can see. And so, you know, I send out this announcement and, or I write the announcement and then I can share it out, right? I can click share post. And this is kind of the superpower that Friday offers that you really can't find anywhere else. Um, you can give it a category, right? So over time, all your announcements roll up into one view which is really, really useful for, you know, any new employee who joins. Um, you can uh, define an author. If you're on our company-wide offering, you can actually ghostwrite. So if you have like an internal communications team who needs to ghostwrite on behalf of the CEO, you can do that. Um, you can easily select the entire organization or small teams or groups in Friday, right? So you have the ability to send a targeted message to a segment of your organization. Um, and I would argue most importantly, you can uh, distribute this post um, over Friday um, through Slack and over email at the same time. So if I select Slack, I can choose a channel, right? So I'm just gonna select this one. I can also uh, send it out uh, over email. So I'm gonna select that. And for the most important, for the most important items, I can make this high priority, which basically on the homepage of Friday, adds it as a must read item that people need to see, right? So let's say I publish this and I'm gonna turn this off because uh, I don't wanna ping everybody right now. Um, I'm gonna publish this post. It has been successfully shared with the company. You can see that it hasn't been read by anybody. If I wanted to, I could send a notification to people who haven't seen it yet. Um, and I can jump into Slack and can see the announcement that I've made. Um, additionally, if people leave reactions, you can leave uh, emoji-based reactions and you can leave comments and tag people, right? So if you're a leader, this is a wonderful feedback loop. 
and the reactions and the comments sync back into Slack to keep things neat. And so this is how posts work. We're really interested in better solving the pain points associated with top-down communication, but you can use this for meeting notes, proposals, uh, ideas, I do a, you know, a weekly state of the union, kind of a note from the CEO, so to speak. Um, this is, like I said earlier, it's like an internal blog for your company that is deeply integrated with email and Slack. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And uh, I hope this helps you improve your communication and also understand like, are you shouting into the void or not? If you don't have analytics and insight, you might be and you just don't know it. Anyway, have a great rest of your day and thanks for taking the time to listen to this video and watch it. Thanks.